completely get in another proc in while sure. that was going on. They could have made it like 17% too. Uh, yeah, they should have made more it more And then the other one is minus 6 second on ice shards. Which is also like pretty insane. Because ice shard already have a relatively low cooldown. So it's 10 seconds at yep. level 4. So now it's 4 seconds. So now it's 4 seconds. And then the shards themselves actually like... So now 7 seconds. Right. So you could just block people. You can double. Uh, we we got to keep moving because there's a lot of new heroes and new talents. Shadow, Shadow Demon, his particular change is that if somebody dies under your soul catcher, you just make an illusion of that okay. hero. Yeah. And that illusion stays around until the hero survives. Oh, revives or you die. Five uh, I'm not sure. If I, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's until they revive. Okay, uh, I'll quickly check on that one. Oh, we got a Viper too. Oh, here we go. All the new stuff coming into play right now. Last until they respawn or it's killed. It doesn't matter if you die. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the illusion deals 75% damage at max. Takes 200% damage. The reason I, I want to bring that up is yesterday I killed a sniper under my soul catcher on okay. the enemy team. And I just took tier 3 with that sniper illusion. <laughs> I just kept shooting high ground. I was like, got him. Countered. That's, a, that's actually a very like fun little, fun little change. Yeah. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know exactly how effective it could be, but... Sounds like you can have a, a good time until they come back with that. Oracle, not exactly the biggest changes. It does have a little bit of um, talent change. The big thing, at, at 20, you get invisibility on False Promise. So it's back to what it used to be. No? Yeah, no, when, when Oracle first came out, you got invisibility. Really? Yeah. Okay. She was insanely powerful. It was super OP. I thought it was invincibility. Uh, I mean, you might as well be. <laughs> All right. But I, at the Oracle pickup here, uh, I mean, this is, you know, the Tusk, we were talking about how it might have been a defensive pickup, but this is guaranteed to be... Yeah, uh, going to be very good against the SD Murana combo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's see a lone druid. All right, can we talk about what Viper was fast? Because they did change his abilities quite a bit. Okay. They combined Netatoxin... With the Viper's attack. Uh, or the poison poison attack. attack. So now you kind of get both on that one. Um, and then the other thing is a uh, Netatoxin is now a... AOE ability. Right. And it's a 5 second cooldown. It kills a wave on its own. So Viper, because one of the knock against Viper is that he couldn't farm jungle camps that rapidly. Can actually kill a wave that quickly. And you see players building things like Maelstrom or Mask of Madness just to simply catch up on farm. Now he has an innate built in farm tool. Nidatoxin also breaks, which is, I don't think, particularly relevant in this game, but in certain aspects, he could like counter, let's say, Bristleback or. I don't know. Any hero that relies on passive like PA. It might be pretty cool for Lone Druid. Is there anything you well, break his... So if he goes for the bear build, right? Okay. If you Let's say, for example, you're behind. You can drop the, the Nether Toxin to make it so that the bear doesn't do as much building damage. Because it removes them all. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. And then it can't I see you. either. I see you. you know. So maybe there's potential there. At level 25, you also can make Nether Toxin, toxin Silence. So it's an AoE Silence coming out in a 5 second cooldown, which is... Like, pretty relevant against your, like, Pock or Tusk or Oracle. Yeah, he basically gets a super powerful smoke cloud. Yep. That also damaged them. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. You know, looking at that ability change, it makes me wonder if the... Five seconds. If you can make, like, a spell casting build legit for Viper. I was trying that. It's actually insane. Like, Radiance, Radiance, Shiva, Yules, Octarine. No, I, I want your favorite item. Kaya. Oh, Kaya. Kaya, okay. Octarine, Axe. And then Wait, what is, so what does Ags do for it? It just reduces the... Uh, the it gives cooldown. you a really good cast range buff on Viper Strike. Viper Strike. So that is, it's basically the same thing for the... And Ag. it's it brings it down to like 12 seconds cooldown. Down. Okay, so that's still how... Well, the thing is, he, he also gets a... a 15 or 20, he gets a uh, Viper Strike talent increase, plus 100 Viper Strike DPS. Okay, that sounds a lot better than Poison Attack. Actually, the Poison Attack at buildings. buildings is actually... Not that bad, is it? Well, I think it, it now just gives you an option to do either. Like, th he has, like, a physical attack talent tree, uh -huh. and now a sp spell-based talent tree. Because at level 10, you get 8% spell lifesteal, and then uh, you get Corrosive Haze at 15 if you want. What, like what a, is that, uh, that second one? Plus attack range. Oh, no, 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 the uh, Corrosive one. Ten seconds remaining. Plus 6 Corrosive Skin? Yeah, what does that mean? I think it's more DPS. Is more that DPS? Does that make sense? It, okay. I never took that one. It so. seems very poorly worded. <laughs> Templar Assassin for VCJ Storm against the Viper. 
Against the Viper? Against the Viper? Isn't isn't Viper what they Yeah. What everyone picks to deal with Templar Assassin? I don't know about this pick. What do you think? I mean, I, I, I just voiced my opinion. It's, it's, it's a TA against the Viper. <laughs> but here's the thing. Psionic traps now deal damage when fully charged. Oh. Yeah, I'm not convinced. But I mean, at the same time, if you look at their heroes, they have a lot of flexibility. It doesn't exactly have to go against the Viper, right? Level 20, Refraction now dispels. You could dispel things off of yourself. Like that Drunken Haze. Like that Drunken Haze. All right, no, easy. Just wait for him to hit 25. All right, before we start, I can immediately tell you, I much prefer the... VGJ. The, no, the DC Did lineup. Because of the mid matchup? Well, I mean, like, okay, so here's, here's the thing. You see a puck, right? You take the Nyx Assassin. Already a very strong hero against the puck, right? Okay. So I feel like that's like already a counter. And then you have the Viper versus TA, which I think is a great matchup for TA. Sure. And then you have a Brewmaster against a Lone Druid, which I think is a great matchup for Brew. Because you just I split agree. and you throw up, throw, up, throw up the... If he goes for you the just range throw build, you just throw him whatever, whichever build he's going. Yeah. And then you, can, you just remove him from a team fight. Or you can even throw up the Oracle, and then your Oracle does nothing. Oh, you're, you're talking about the, uh, the, the Cyclone. cyclone. Yeah. yeah. I thought you you talking about his thrown Heineken skill. Oh, you're talking about the, the Drunken Yeah, yeah. No, give him, a, well, that's, that give him a butt light. That's good, too. Right? It, it destroys a TA. It destroys a, a Syllabair. Sure. I mean, on paper, I just feel like all these heroes seem to outmatch uh, a lot I agree of with you. you know. But these are such weird heroes to be picked up by VGJ Storm, like picking the TA into the Viper, that I... Like, a corner of my mind is like, VGJ has to be up to something. Like, they, they, they must know something about the new patch that we don't. I, I, I wouldn't disagree with that. I also think that they're going to lane this a little differently so that they don't have the matchups we're probably expecting. Right. Can you put the puck mid against the Viper? And once again, we're going to see DC doing this like early game smoke. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Did that opt catch them? I don't think no, so. No, it did not. Oh, this is going to be so bad for this BGJ. Okay. They are not ready for this. This is the other thing that we were expecting in theory crafting, where you just like smoke around for a level 1 kill at the, the runes. Oh, this is a great positioning from Snaking though. They're okay, gonna break they have it vision, they have it. vision. Now Snaking could just easily orb out, and he's Gonzo. That is some great positioning from BGJ. So they will probably take the two runes on the other side of the map and give up the, these two. Is this where your lone druid gets to? No, they're going to give it to <laughs> the TA. So they're going to have the puck go into the safe lane and they're going to put the lone druid in the off, off lane. Expecting this matchup, but DC, they know. They're going to put that brewmaster against the lone druid. Not going to be an easy time for him. So we are going to see the TA versus Viper matchup. Yep. And I, I think with, with the changes, I mean, there's not much difference, right? Viper is still going to be that Viper matchup for TA. I think the only thing that helps out a little bit more is that you don't get a zero second cooldown on poison attack till you max it. Oh, that's true. So the early level of poison attack isn't that bad for 747. It's still pretty bad. Oh, but... To make things worse, you know, he's dealing up against a Shadow, a Demon, Shadow Demon as well. Yeah. Well, everything has been committed. Tusk isn't going to stay here either, so he's really got no help. He doesn't have side blades either. That poison attack actually isn't isn't too bad. Six seconds makes it really difficult for him to harass efficiently yep. with it. Well, mid lane, I think they're going to try to go for a kill attempt here on 747. 747, Refraction already down. Nice body blocking from the Illusion from Demon. Not sure. Oh, actually blocks him again from the trees. Oh, he so going to give it the first blood. Great play by Jimmy Ho. That, that was, was an insane. That was yeah. an insane block. I thought he was going to be... I thought he was going to make it at that point. Yeah. And then the... The block? Yeah. The ramen noodles, as they call it in some of the games. Just sneaked oh, into the trees. Lane. Looks like they're going to get Mason, I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, quickly identifying that he does have uh, arrow only and no leap. And then they just run on him with shards. Yeah. Good stuff. Mason's down here, or Mason's back now, and Demon is going to get caught. Oh, the disruption. He can't orb out. Oh, he does at the very last second of it, and he's good. 
Yeah, Mason can't get an angle for the uh, for the arrow, and Bulba took level one mono burn. So, oh, they want to fight through the rune. All right, rune's gonna come out, and now Bulba out of mana, arrow not gonna connect, and he need a couple more right clicks. Oh, the triple leap, triple leap! Stan King says, "What is this? Tiger's coming at me!" But they don't get the kill. Francis Lee now in a lot of trouble as well. He does have one fairy fire. Oh, Snake King comes around. The King, he has one phase. We'll hang around. Everybody's super low. Stanking. No one has no mana. mana. Yeah, yeah, so it seems like everyone's going to just retreat. <laughs> it's so funny to see the triple leap. <laughs> Do you know what Stanking is most famous for? It's the Oracle play. Yes. Right? He, where he, uh, he, 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 he was super like pumped for that Reddit thread that he got. Which is you, uh, you burst the courier in while channeling the Fortune the 10. Yeah. Guess what? The channel, the, the courier can't burst anymore. <laughs> so that's strat I mean, nerfed. Hey, but he moved move, he, he he move a bit got, faster. Uh, yeah, I got the movement speed buff. Yeah. I still want that more, though. But, uh, this guy's an Oracle spammer. He knows how the hero works. Yeah, he plays a lot of it. It's a great hero. I can't play it, though. That does not surprise me. <laughs> Well, going to continue farming down here. Mason, going to get caught out, but... Yep. I mean, this no is problem. where I, like, the Tusk just does not match well. You know, actually, the thing is, they can actually see how many how many leap charges he has. So okay. he, he can't walk up anymore, and the cooldown is insanely long. He has, he has 30 more seconds until the next leap. So if he gets caught out here, he's not going to get... He's going to just feed. No, he's, he's fine for now. He also just TP out against this lane. Oh, mid lane, nothing's gonna happen. No detection. Oh, but the... Dude, you, I mean, look at his damage. Another toxin. Dude, they just wrecking this TA. I don't, I'm not sold about this TA last pick. He might be doing a lot after, you know, the... After a laning stage, but this laning stage is brutal. I thought you said nether toxin one shots waves. Once you max it. 50 times 8 is only... F uh, 400. Oh, mid lane though. Oh, they're gonna catch him anyways. No? Okay. It's fine for now. Uh-oh. He's Boba. Jay. Gonna just port out here. He's fine now. Demon. Oh, they're gonna go on Demon. Demon. He's gonna turn around trying to kill, uh, 747 or Ryoya. Alright, the micro's gonna be there. The shard's gonna take down all of the illusions. Demon. Gonna go down. Alright, good rotation coming from the VGJ uh, supports. Surprisingly difficult to get even one kill there. Once again, just not having the best of lockdown. This game is gonna rely very heavily on snaking, I believe. He's gonna have to do a lot of work on his puck to uh, ensure that VGJ have the start that they need. Yeah. Puck is one of those heroes that can kind of do something like that, though. He oh yeah, definitely can completely snowball away from the game, but. Even Pog, I mean, he's only got 15 CS, just losing it out against the Murana in the lane, so... I, I mean, once again, VCJ is very far behind, and then I don't know where that comeback's gonna come from. And we're only five minutes in the game, so... There's still a lot of game left to be played, but it's not looking good right now. Mid lane. I think they see, yeah, they see Bulba, they want to get this kill. Ice Shard, gonna trap him in. Nice two-man Impale coming through. Snowball's gonna find him up. Picks up the, the TA. Boba going for the deny, and... Oh, he doesn't get it! Oh, that was so close. These Some sleeping ancients! <laughs> They're so slow. They're so slow, too. Mid lane demons. Alright, he's fine. Turns around this rope. Oh, that break. Dude, can't side blade. <laughs> but more importantly, the DOT taking out that refraction pretty much instantly. Top lane primal split has been used. Oh, that's a free bear kill. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, wait, why not? He didn't get the last hit, the tower got it. That's a lot of gold. So he resummoned the bear and now he's just gonna go... Well, that's the end of it. Yep. He didn't get a, get the, the kill though. That's really unfortunate for MSS. That's 300 gold lost. This TA needs so much help right now, though. He's not level 5 yet against the Viper, who's quarter way into 7. Yep, he has one Ancient Stack. Or towards 7. But I think it's going to be a while before this TA could, you know, take Ancient Stacks. Oh, top lane, though. 
Savage Roar. All right. Throw Bud Light at uh, Ritsu. He ports home. I feel like the alcohol has to be a little stronger than that. You think so? For you to miss that much, yeah. <laughs> so what alcohol are we talking about here? Uh, Is it some some vodka or maybe. some whiskey? Whiskey, yeah. Not some light beer. Not some light beer, that's for sure. Snaking, nice dodge on the face on the bottom. Once again, VGJ winning essentially all three lanes. You mean or DC? losing, losing all three lanes. Yeah, DC winning all three lanes. Forcing well, the kill on the top lane. MSS gonna get rooted up. He doesn't have his ultimate. Very, oh, very so tanky. Blocked. But uh, not gonna be enough. I'm liking this look from Francis though. Like he's, even though they're not doing that well, he's making things happen at least for the team. Well, this time around, I, I definitely like like the fact that they have an answer for for the mid game. Like you know, they actually have heroes that can fight. Mm -hmm. I think last game it was a little different. Oh, mid lane. They need to help mid lane right now. Is anyone gonna get here in time? Viper Strike's gonna be there. Oh yeah, he is so dead. That's so much damage over time. The Viper Strike on top of the... Right, here content. comes the rotation. They're gonna go on Koifa. Coil is at the ready. Not gonna skill it just yet, but here comes the Brewmaster coming in. Coil being used. Snowball defensively a little bit as well. Everybody too tanky to be brought down. And Viper applying a little bit more slow. They will get the tier 1 tower, I believe. This one hurts a lot for, for VGJ Storm. They committed the, the Puck Coil and they just don't have any way to fight right now. And Brewmaster has... Boba from Volta. the back line connects after the disruption. They throw out the Nether Toxin as well. Francis Lee still okay. Puck's gonna jump back out. Nobody dies just yet. Here comes the Primal Split. If they actually bait out the Primal Split and not lose anybody... Oh, they'll lose Franc uh, Stan King. They did get Demon on the back line though, so... Okay. Not the worst. Oh, and also they got a tier 1 tower trade up top, as our observer was pointing out, so... Not the worst from VGJ, making the best out of a pretty bad situation. You know, I mean, if you look at the overall net worth, it's it's very, very close. You know, they're still keeping it pretty close and XP-wise, dead even, so... Yep. VGJ not looking bad. It's just, I think the biggest issue right now is the fact that TA just isn't really able to fight. It doesn't have very much. And this TA is about to get ganked. Lay out a couple of traps maybe to see uh, the path that they're coming in from, but DC smoked up on the back line. Oh, that courier better have the shield ready. Oh, no, 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 they're not gonna go for the courier on the front line. Nice uh -oh. melt dodge on the Viper Strike, but I no think No one's he's even coming to save him. Yeah. He is dead. Oh, he's actually surrounded completely. Goes oh. down. Value melt. Make him use one more sentry. Oh, on the top lane though. Is he gonna be able to roar? Yeah, they're gonna roar. Gonna find Bulba at least. So with that, in terms of net wars, VGJ are leading, but still, same problem. Your TA is extremely weak as a core right now. More importantly, I just want to point out the first glyph of this game for both teams was like 10 minutes. So if they glyph for one last hit and minute one. Okay. I'm just saying, that's some min-max that teams could do. I think it's too hard to predict something like that. Snake King, being slowed down. Oh my God! That right click. Viper's that going is in. So much damage. He's actually I, he, just, he's dead. just dead. Wait. Uh, yeah, he's just dead. Oh, he died to the soul capture. That's a delusion. <laughs> Go demon. <laughs> Go kill them all. All right, so he's gonna scout out, get some information. Get that last hit. He's trying. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know why I got most high for that, but that was actually like. If you're 747 right now, you're super tilted, right? You are so tilted right now. You don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> that is actually so funny to see. I mean, that that was like good. Because I think most players were like, oh, yeah, there's illusion. I'm not going to you know, micro it. Maybe I'll stack. But that was like... Well, Spirit Bear getting closer to the Radiance. Well, maybe not not that close. He's actually pretty far away. Yep. I, I feel like without the Radiance, their, their team fight just isn't quite there. Especially since the Puck doesn't have Blink Dagger either. Bottom, oh, lane. bottom lane. They will find the Oracle kill. <laughs> so even though that uh, VGJ is slightly behind this game, actually quite behind, 
I, I feel that they have way more comeback potential in the lineup than compared to the previous game. I think you already brought up that point, but... Yeah, it, it's, it's just, it just really comes down to how they can keep it somewhat close, like they are right now. Mm -hmm. they, they need to keep it at this stage, and then when they get their, their uh, core items, then they take the fights. So you're, we're, looking at, we're looking at a Radiance on the Bear, the Blink Veil Puck, maybe. Doesn't look like he's going for the, the Veil right now. Oh, sneaking, dodging a gank. And then whatever items you can muster up on the Templar Assassin. Like, he, he just needs so much right now. It's not clear to me that even if Templar gets her items, whether she will be effective. Because DC is just innately so good against TA. No, she'll, she'll, be, she'll be very strong. Oh, quarter, sure. pop that shield. Oh, what? Had shield. Did it have shield? I don't know. But I don't actually know either. I feel like it yeah. wouldn't. Because everyone is so used to the old courier right now. I think everyone just tapping the speed burst. I, yeah, I think 10 out of 10 times I tapped speed burst out of habit. That's just you, dude. I've already learned. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, all right. So we'll see if Viper is going to go for the spell carry or the physical carry. Most likely going to go for the physical carry, but... For who? Lone Druid? The Viper. Oh, Viper. Yeah. You don't think he's going to take the... Spell life on 8%. Oh, they're gonna go on the Viper. Viper, four staff out, and here comes the bling. Nice connection on Boba. Continue that chain stun. They get one, they will get two. They have the ruling split as well, so they're searching for more. TP out. And VGJ will Ooh. throw away a tower as well. Mason almost connected the arrow on the Spirit Bear. That would have been another 300 gold going their way. Oh, you're right. So the corrosive skin DP is, is DPS. It says it in the in the talent tree. Oh, okay, it just yeah. doesn't say on the change on the, log. On the change log. Yeah. It always like confuses me because when you look at talent tree in game, it's listed from top to bottom from 25 to 10, but everywhere else it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, was, I actually got confused by that too. I was looking at the tree and I was like, why is it level 25 talent, eight life or spell life? <laughs> It seems rather weak, doesn't it? I feel like it wouldn't be bad if you went for that that spell spell damage. Oh, is he gonna get away from this? Oh, all those sentries. Oh man, that's a really dead TA. Yep. This is this is why it's so hard to play TA against Viper. Even with the changes, it was still rough because it was a two v one Shadow Demon and Viper against the TA. Mm -hmm. It feels bad. I feel bad for 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 seven four seven. It feels like he just never gets to play a, a mid good matchup. Yeah. All right. Flea gonna get caught up by the viper, but he's just gonna TP away. Very tanky. How much does this blink on the puck change? Not much. He, I mean, the thing. So the thing is, it's it's very important, right? But at the same time, it's only important to have it when the rest of your team has the items to fight with it. So okay, so you're looking at the TA, you're looking at the, the Lone Druid. Uh, yeah, so at the end of the day, we're still waiting for the Radiance on the Bear. Okay. Stan King will apply Fate Cedic on himself. Block damage. Also, that, that uh, initiation probably gave away the fact that there is a high ground ward in VGJ's jungle. So oh, VGJ could... Uh, he's got leaps, right? Coil's gonna give you raining rift, dodge away, and then he just leaps, leaps. And then he has one more leap. Okay. <laughs> That's actually really, really funny. It looks so, so clammy. Still, VGJ are doing a very good job in keeping us close in terms of net worth right now. 2k net worth lead at 16 minutes, considering how the game currently feels, is very impressive. The problem is, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to get any better for VCJ, even if they're holding on. I guess the Radiant Spear would allow him to accelerate farm. If TA gets a blink or Deso, that, you know, he could either kill camps faster or get to camps faster. I, I think the Radiance will be a very, very big 
difference. Like split in push, kind of. No, 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 not, not split push. Just straight up team fight. Okay. They're gonna catch out Ritsu though. I think this is most definitely going to be a kill. Oh, well, here comes the T on the back oh, line. He has kidding. his blink, but the Yules or not oh, the Yules, the Cyclone. Up. It's gonna put him up, and now Ritsu snowball back out. He's still alive right now, just a little bit longer. Very, very tanky pair. They're turning things around. Boba's dropping very low as well. False promise on Snaking. Snaking jumping forward, trying to catch up. Not gonna catch anybody just yet. Mason comes in, but nice refraction coming in from oh, yes, Core Seven. Blinks forward. Coil hits on two. The comeback from VGJ is coming real here. Mason trying to pour it up, but Snake King comes in. The double king combo from VGJ comes through. Wins the team fight 2v3. To be fair, that was kind of like a, a 3v5 team fight for the most of it. So DC definitely did not have the number advantage, but VGJ definitely needed a team fight to go their way. Yeah, that was just some great team fighting from them. Uh, very well played by, by Snake King. Just really trying to get whatever he can uh, nearby. Like, he was really low on mana, and yep. he just went towards the shrine by himself, got enough mana, coil comes off cooldown, they secure those two more kills, and, you know, I really thought that 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 Ritsu was going to go down, but yeah, I, I, I greatly underestimated the, the Druid form, as well as uh, Francis Lee. He put him in the snowball, bought him some more time. And I think so did DC, right? DC brought enough to kill the lone Druid, but... Snaking, Just, I, I think yeah. he like he was snowballed. He was healed multiple times. I don't even think he got uh, false promised either. I think false no, promise yeah. was on on puck, right? Yeah, it was. So good turn around. And by the way, uh, I want to mention that there is two clarity on Snaking's backpack. I think moving forward, intelligence heroes definitely want to be figuring out a bunch of these. Yes, a bunch of clarity because again, mana regen is based on your intelligence now. Even a, a measly clarity is going to get you a ton of mana in the late game. Grants 3.2 mana region for 50 yep. seconds. You know what would be nice? If they updated the tooltip according to the hero it's on. Okay. So it would just tell you before you even use before it? Before you even use it, you yeah. see how much it gives you. That's so for people like us who can't do math. Too difficult for coding, man. I don't know. Wait, why would you assume that? Do you know how to code? I'm just, I was being sarcastic. It's actually very <laughs> easy to code. <laughs> but, uh... Alright, well, that team fight definitely gave VGJ quite a bit of time to get those necessary items. Well, yeah, they, they have the Radiance now, yep. so this is their their moment. They all, they're also nearing the, uh, the Deso finish on the TA. Wait. Yeah, she's just where's, one... Where's the Radiance? No, uh, he's got the Relic. I think the recipe is still about a thousand away from the bear. Oh, I thought he had it already. That's strange. Did he? Yeah, I could have sworn he had it enough. He was like 1,200 gold when I last checked. Very strange. TA did a really good job in catching up, by the way. He had like the, the most miserable start you could ask for. Quite fun. Hitting the tower. Being sniper. Yeah, being sniper. We're gonna okay. be going in. Oh, By the so way, look, he just has a, a bunch of gold again. I'm so confused. Who does? It's it's uh, it's, it's like it's, I think it's a bug. I've, every time I click on Spirit Bear, it shows me a different value for someone else's gold. It's, I'm so confused. All right, I'm just gonna click on Lone Druid instead. He has the exact same go as the Lone Druid. I don't know what you're. No, no, I was seeing something else. Trust me, I I I, I see these things. It's, okay. show, it's showing me a different value. By the way, I, I'm kind of looking the way that Koifa is playing it. Oh, they're going to get caught. Stan King. Right. Is he going to ult himself? Well, He's I mean... He's holding on to it. Ooh. No, he got dunked. Oh. Four stab. Gonna go oh kill the bear. Oh my god, the bear is so slow. Gonna get brought down. MSS oh. blinks in for the 300G. It's like says, I missed that one on top. Gonna get this one though. But, VGJ is actually employing some very good split pushing tactic right now. Puck is very good at that. Templar Assassin, not bad. Sneaking one for the Dagon. I think I think it's, this is actually a really good pick up. They can kill off the Shadow Demon early on. It's going to help their team fight like, quite a bit. I feel like you could just pick off the Shadow Demon though. Pretty much everyone else is very resistant against that Dagon. Viper laughs at it. Brewmaster doesn't care. 
Nyx as well as Mirana or I mean they're they're squishy but they also have abilities to either defend themselves or get away, so Oh, by the way, Koifa went for the 8% spell life skill. Yeah, so I was not going to point it out. It's actually working off of his own corrosive. Yeah. So it's just like really magic nice. damage. Snake King. I'm with fire right now. Francis Lee. It's gonna, that's going to fly out, so nice blink away from Francis. I think this is why they take a team fight. Does Ritsu have the Radiance yet? Okay, he does. They're going to smoke up. They're going to go right it. back in. This is a great time to fight. I think that this is where they're very strong. Blink Coil, but again, they see Viper in the front line. Do they actually want to go for him? Oh, there's Snowball, they're stunned. Wow, nice Deso strike coming here from the TA. Gonna be enough to get that kill. And it's gonna be a clean one. And this is this is their moment. You know, they have all the, the tools they need. Everyone has their first core item. And they're gonna just run down this top lane. Yep. You know, what? one thing that this team does is that it pushes tower very quickly. Deso on, on buildings, of course, Lone Druid being a Lone Druid. Well, the nice thing about this is they can also look towards taking Roshan now. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, VCJ making a game out of a pretty bad early start that they had. You know, I mean, the thing is, it just looked really bad, but I, I honestly don't think it was as bad as it it's definitely not as bad as game one. As game one, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of it just looked hor horrific because of the fact that TA was just dying like over and over again. But now that he's kind of stabilized, I mean, mm -hmm. things are looking pretty good for them. Yeah, TA going for the BKB, pretty standard transition. Not exactly the greatest against the Viper ult, but pretty much amazing, uh, as well as the Shadow Demon ult, rather. But pretty good against everything else. There's a lot of random, like, slows and cyclones yeah. and... There's just a lot of magic damage overall. Yeah. Everyone on the team has a way to contribute in terms of magic damage. I actually think this 8% spell life feel is super legit, by the way. On the Viper? Yeah. yeah. It's. I think you just get it always. Because it works on your Viper Strike, even the Poison ta Attack, the Nether Toxin, the Corrosive Skin. You actually, it's really important to have it uh, for farming the neutrals. As Boba, ooh, they drop the detection, they coil him up, he's silenced. Uh, he's gonna get brought down, the arrow's gonna come through though, they will bring down Boba. The question is, uh, how much are they gonna lose? He got off essentially a Ravage before he died. Blinken, ultimate coming out from MSS, they see for 747, no protection for him, so he is out. Oh, the blinks. Good counter initiation, they ping out the Lone Druid, they want him there. Does he have a good Savage Roar? He brings back the bear, because Savage Roar here, if he has vision, Cyclone's gonna bring him up. Ooh, Savage Roar's gonna be good. Arrow's gonna be there, but the neutral blocks it, so he's gonna be fine. The slow, the purge's gonna be there. Don't know where the, the Savage, Savage Roar is. Savage Roar on the back line. Snowball's gonna be there, still alive right now. Buyback with the ultimate! Oh no, he just couldn't TP there in time. Sorry, I, I meant that on the uh, Oracle, but they're close enough to the base now. Here comes 747, applying a lot of physical damage. Here's Arrow oh, up. False Promise the is gonna TA be buyback. there. And here comes the Puck. TA buyback, he cannot die here. That False Promise looks like he's gonna just be dead here. Yep, he's straight up dead. And now Viper goes right into the base, sees a very squishy Stan King. Stan King is going to be dead. There's four dead with the dieback, and they're right in front of the building. They're going to hit the tier three. This could just be Rax. In fact, this will be Rax. We were just talking about how VCJ had to put themselves in a good position. Oh, the spike usage by Boba! But can they actually get the kill on the puck? No, they can't. Oh, they almost killed him. Wait, wait, blink it forward. Oh, misses the impale. If he got that one, I think it would have been the kill. And now Boba's dropping very low. He died to tower. Uh, snowball comes snowball. in. All right. So really? they at least got a tier three. I thought they would have gotten a lot more out of that team fight. Well, but the respawn time is very low. Coil's going to be there. Coifa's going to be by himself. He's very, very tanky. Well, that oh. corrosive hit. He, the puck might. No, he's okay. He's okay. In fact, Snaking blinks forward. And they'll get the Viper kill. Okay. Okay, this is a really important kill. Okay, so they didn't lose Rax at least. That's yep. that's very important. And they're gonna get a tier one out of this as well, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Can they get Roche off of this as well? Because Viper's uh, dead for fifty. I think they should force it. Yeah. Seven four seven goes straight into the pit. Yeah. Viper has buyback, but if you get a buyback out of Viper at this point in the game, that's pretty good. Well, they're not really committing to it, so this is going to take a long time. 
I think if it does come to it, Viper probably does buy back. Um, oh. oh, another spike by Boba getting the reigning whiff of Snake King, but looks like they did not connect it with the, uh, the Impel. I think if, again, oh, if you Impel there, him, yeah, they did get him. And on the front side, it's going to be, okay, False Promise being used on Flea. Flea's going to snowball. He has to jump to the neutral and blinks right back out, but I think he's going to survive it. The urn's going to, yeah, bring himself back up. Yeah, but while that happened, I mean, Stan gets picked off and yep. they're going to be, be dead as well. Another ulti comes out. Uh oh, TA in a lot of trouble. Arrow connects. I think this is going to be it for him as well. Yep. Oh, another illusion. Look, he has another illusion. And the, good, the big thing is that they were able to get the... Well, they were able to defend Roshan when Viper's dead. Viper never had to buy back in that engagement, so he's now back in the Roshan pit. Look at Demon. He has two illusions now. At the top lane. Okay. There you go. Easy farm. So catcher. Pushing the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Illusion Cyblade. That's great. Yep. Alright, Koifa. He's got the Aegis and he's getting very close to an AC. I mean this this Viper is such a big problem for, for VGJ. You like AC here? Good for receiving high ground? Yeah, I think it's good. I mean you're against a, a TA as well as a Sure. A lone druid. I was thinking something like Shiva's Guard, you know, just, just more magic damage. That's what I like to see too. Yeah. Would be cool. I'm telling you. Rad Radiance, Radiance Shiva. By the way, it feels like Snake King needs to now think twice about coming in here with Waning Rift because... He got caught twice. Sam has just been on point with activating Spike, you know, as soon as the Puck Bling thing. Which is like, super impressive how quickly he could react. Because most of the time Puck is coming in from Fog and stuff like that. Alright, can they get this kill? There is no... There is no coil. Mason's gonna make it out. I would've helped them so much if they were able to get this kill, but... Not gonna be the case here. DC's gonna... Take this very slowly right now. <coughs> Even though they have the Aegis. Wanna just siege with the... With the Viper. Up front. Still short. About 800 gold for his, uh, his AC. I think once he has this, though, I, I don't think there's... Too much that DC are gonna be afraid of. Yeah, the DC lineup just seems so tanky overall. Top tower is under and I don't think VCJ has enough physical damage at this point. Mason's gonna come back up to farm. Again, he's got multiple leaps, so... Is there any special talent that they can work towards? Uh oh, Bear is gonna go down in the mid lane. That one kinda hurts. Quifa not... Shy to Viper Strike on the... It's super worth it. Yep. 300 gold. What were you asking before we uh, saw that bear going now? I was just wondering if there's any, you know, major talent that VGJ could use uh, on their they side to help turn them win a team things fight. Around, yeah. yeah. I think Puck's uh, 20 helps out a lot. The 40% illusory orb makes him much more mobile in the team fight, provided he's not, like, dead in the beginning of it. He's maxing out his, uh, his Dagon. Oh, gonna stun him, but no follow-up. Yep. He really, really wants to burst down someone. Well, slow sieging right now, but... Okay, nice disarm. Focus a little bit of damage on it. Defensive disruption is going to come out. Mason now joining the front line as well. And now the bear comes in. The bear is going to get completely blown up. Yeah, there's no bear. Yeah. For 50 seconds. No radiance. Rax is going to go down. There's no committal here from Digital Chaos playing really safe. Cool, calm, and collected. They got what they came for, and they still have the Aegis. Koikfa is going to keep doing this. Look, he's got... 40 something armor, 43 armor. Alright, Stan King's gonna throw out a couple of disarm, but disarm will just get disrupted. Now Koifa's back. Spike gonna come through, they find... Uh, again, they're not gonna jump in even though the puck's down. It's gonna hit, keep hitting this here 3. I think they realize that there's... They just there's can't no kill. Bear, yeah. no, nothing to be afraid of. All right. Now they're gonna have the zoning panda ulti as well. Oh, that's just two set of racks. 
Are you surprised at all how quickly that Koifu was able to take that Rex, or was it not that quick? I guess I guess this is where the AC. I think, I think it was kind of, yeah, as expected as possible. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The fake back. Oh, oh and they blink shooter. right in. Impale. It's going to be on three. And now on the back line here, it's going to be 747. Getting the false promise. Viper joining the fray as well. Netatoxin being spilled over on everybody. They just called the GG. Puck's dead. And so is the TA. Very, very good play coming out from G Digital Chaos. They, they, they only lost one fight in that game. Right? I, I think it was, I, wouldn't, I don't even know if I would call it like a lost fight. I, 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 it's definitely a lost yeah. fight, but it was, you know, wasn't without trades or anything. They still managed to take two down with.